Hey everyone, I am Coach Mark here with my student Lindsay, and uh, we are going to do some of the Steel Mace Flow Level 1 flows, two of those flows actually, uh, but we're going to do them in more of a fitness style. So we're going to break this down, we're going to break the flow down into different exercises and finally combine them at the end for the flow. So we're going to start with the first flow in the Steel Mace Flow Level 1 sequence, which is our Switch March Flow. We're gonna start with our maces up here. And right now, we are just gonna go over the footwork for the flow. We're not gonna do anything with the mace. So just have it here pointing to your right, and we're gonna get started with a forward lunge on our right leg. And we are going to do 10 of them. Ready, Linz? I'm ready. There we go. Hold that mace right up at the chest, forward lunge. Stand back up. Good. Looking straight ahead. If you want to squeeze your hands together on that mace, a little bit of an isometric contraction. We have five. That's six. Oh, good thing I got you count. Seven. Uh, you I, was, count. I was testing her there. Eight. Two more. Nine. Keep a lot of weight on that back leg. Ten. Good. So we're going to go to the reverse lunge. Same leg now, since I'm going to be talking so much. We got Lindsay here to keep track of numbers. She's really good with numbers. All right. Right leg stepping back. Here we go. Notice how we're nice and upright when we do these lunges. And you have to return to a standing position. Don't cheat it. Five, six, seven, I think. Right, Lens? Yeah. Eight. Good. And our last one on this side is our squat. Here we go. It's back, chest forward, lower down. If you want to sink a little deeper into your squat, knees a little wider, toes pointed out. We won't be going this low in the flow, but for this workout, feel free. Especially this part of the workout. What are we at, Linz? This is 10. Alrighty, let's switch that mace over. Now the majority of the mate in our, uh, weight in our mace is on the left side. So we're going to go again, starting with woo, the left leg. Here we go, 10 times. Don't let your knee touch the ground. Three more. We're going to transition right into the reverse lunge. One more. Good. Stepping back. We didn't color coordinate our outfits and decide to wear Under Armour before this. It was just random. I should have worn a white shirt. You really should. Then we the opposite. You ruined everything. No, I stopped counting. This is I think minutes. we're at six or seven. <laughs> we might be doing a couple extra here. Let's go two more. Ah, uh, we're fitness trainers. We don't know how to count. <laughs> Excellent. And squats. Let's go. That's two, Lindsay. Three. Six. Seven. Three more. And relax. So that's the footwork, the lower body movements, lower body exercises that make up this flow. We're going to move to the upper body movements exercises next, and then we'll put them all together for a flow. Good job, guys. So the upper body sequence or movement or exercise for this exercise. Let's start that again. So the upper body movement for this flow is our ballistic curl, also known as our hand switch. You can see the globe of our mace is both facing the right. We're going to start by giving it a little squeeze. That's what I call crush grip, what a lot of people refer to as anti-rotation. From here, we're going to slowly go into our prayer position, hands together, good. We're going to continue on sliding that top hand right down, reversing the position that we originally started. So one more time, there's the squeeze, and in slow motion, prayer position, keep sliding, back to the original side. So fast. It'll look like this. We're squeezing right there. Isometric contraction. All right, here we go. We're going for one minute. Lids, you can keep going. I'm just starting the timer. That's it. Notice how she keeps it right at her chest level. The mace right at the chest level. And within an inch or two of her chest. She doesn't hold it way out in front of her like this. Uh, a tendency when people start to get tired in mace classes, they'll bring their mace down like that. 
You don't want that to happen. You want to keep that mace right at that chest level. It gets harder, the harder you grip it. Exactly, the grip means everything. If we have people just doing this, yeah, your heart rate's not gonna get very high. It's not gonna seem like much of a fitness exercise, but as soon as you start adding that isometric contraction, you can see the veins popping out in my chest and shoulders. That is where this turns into more of a fitness exercise, an endurance, a strength endurance exercise. We have 14 seconds left. This is the upper body exercise we're gonna do for this entire workout. We're gonna partner it or combine it with lower body movements that make up this flow sequence next. Nicely done, Linz. All right, 30 seconds for everybody to rest, you included at home. I'm gonna demonstrate what's up first. We're going to take that hand switch ballistic curl and we're gonna add the squat to it. I like to do that crush grip, that anti-rotation, that isometric squeeze as I lower into the squat. Lower into the squat, squeeze, get to the bottom, pause, back up, do it again. Go for it, Lens. One minute. Once again, notice how she's keeping that mace right here at her chest level. Pretty close to the chest. She's getting a good crush grip, good squeeze in there. That'll get your heart rate up there too for those of you who are in heart rate monitors. We wear the my zones here and it goes gray, blue, green, yellow, and red for your target heart rate zones. Adding that crush grip and really putting some effort into those isometric contractions can definitely get you into green, yellow, and even possibly red combined with the lower body movement. So if we got, long enough, if sure. you do it long enough too, the heart rate really gets up there. So here we go with 23 seconds left. Fifteen seconds. We're going a little faster now. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Quick rest. stop the timer uh, so we can get back into this and I can demonstrate and show you the next exercise uh, before we start the timer back up and go for one minute per side. So the mace, once again, pointing towards our right, right up here at the chest. Get that crush grip happening right there with the squeeze. I'm going to demo first. Forward lunge, left leg with our hand switch, and then reverse lunge with the hand switch. Stay on that leg. We're actually going to do 30 seconds left side. 30 seconds right side, okay? Here we go, Lens. Starting with the mace to the right, which means we're going to step forward with our left leg. Here we go. And then step back. Don't forget about your isometric contraction. Keeping that mace right at your chest. Really squeezing it. I'm gonna get let Lindsay keep going while I talk about some other things I really want you to work on and make sure you're not doing. In three seconds, Lindsay's gonna to switch to the other leg. Good, good. So let's do the other side now, Lindsay. Yep, that was absolutely perfect. When you do your hand switch, don't let go of the mace. So none of this. Because people get confused and then they start holding it upside down or double overhand. You have to keep your hands always on the mace. A good way to know this is happening if you wear wings like a wedding or a wedding ring, your hands will slide over and it will make this nice whoosh sound. It's, it's a really pretty sound for all you married people out there. And rest. We're gonna rest for 30 seconds and then we are going to go right in to our flow. And we're gonna do the flow for a minute and a half. The flow will consist of our forward lunge, our reverse lunge, Stand up, squat, switch legs, forward lunge, reverse lunge, up and squat. So we're both gonna take a couple steps back. Come on, this way more. Here we go. Forward left, reverse left, up and squat. Forward right, reverse right, up and squat. That's it.
Lindsay's gonna keep going here, but she's gonna slow it down now. Slow it down, Lindsay. Really emphasize your crush grip. Sink a little deeper into those lunges. Nice and upright, very good. Excellent squat, excellent breathing. Try not to pause so long in between the two. That's it, keep it nice and high right up here at the chest. That's very good form, very good balance, good technique. Yes, you guys have seen Steel Mace flow. This is one of the, the intro flows. Do you know how much freaking muscular endurance right now this takes? A lot. 30 seconds left, how much she's using her quads. My core. Her chest, her core, her arms, everything. So for those of you that think, you know, Steel Mace flow is just swinging a mace around, it's not. There is so much more to it, and it is a fitness exercise if done properly. We have 10 seconds left, she's sweating, her heart rate's up around 140, she's working her upper body, her lower body, she's coordinated, it's mental exercise, it is everything. And rest, nicely done, Linz. We got one more flow for you today, and we're gonna break it down just like we did the switch march flow. It is called the three-step flow, and in our three-step flow, we're gonna add an archer or bow and arrow, whichever you prefer uh, to refer to it as, into it. So. Take a second, grab a sip of water, and we'll be right back. All right, so we're back. We've had a minute rest. We're both huffing and puffing because we put so much effort into that last exercise sequence. Uh, this one is still three steps, and we are actually going to start with the same step, but then we are going to have a side lunge and a dragon lunge. So there'll be a little bit of lateral movement here, which we did not do in the first flow. We're gonna start by bringing our mace up to our chest, no hand switch yet. We're just gonna hold it facing one way, facing our right, and we're gonna go through the steps five at a time. So, starting with the forward lunge, here we go, Linz. One, two, three, four, and five, good. I'm gonna move over slightly, Linz is gonna move over slightly, and we're gonna step back as well this way, Linz, towards me. Yeah, that way, uh, when we do our sides, we're both still in the picture. Come a little closer to me. There we go. So with the side lunge, we're stepping out to our right on this side. We're gonna lift our right leg up nice and high in front and then bring it out to our side, stepping into a side lunge. You can point that toe and stand back up. That's one, again, two, three. Try to sit your bum down a little further. Four, last one, five. Good, next up is the dragon, we'll shift a little bit this way. Not to be confused with the curtsy, this is not a curtsy. Curtsy, you step back, lean forward. This one, we're gonna keep our shoulders up, square to the camera or square to us. Here we go, three, two, take your right leg behind your left leg out to the side, stay everything square and upright, and stand back up. Here we go, slow it down, Lens. Two, that's it, three, two more, four, don't turn the body too much, and five, good, let's hand switch. Forward lunge, left leg, one, two, three, four, and five, good. We're gonna shuffle over this way just a little bit, stepping to the left side for our lunge, high knee, up, one, two, three, two more, four, Last one, and five, and so we fit on this camera. A little shift over to our left. Here we go with the dragon behind, left. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to double check. <laughs> two. It gets harder when you get tired towards the Three. End. Two more. Four. Last one. Five. Excellent, so those are our lower body. We're gonna keep this running. We'll just take a second, you at home. Let your heart rate come back down. Grab a sip of water if you need it. Um, I am quickly, Lindsay's not gonna do this. I'm gonna quickly show you the hand switch one more time. And everybody at home can do this with me, if they'd like, for about 30 seconds. And just for your reference, so you know, I am using the 10 pound on it steel mace. Lindsay here has an eight pound a Gatsu. It should say a Gatsu on the other side, but she's got the eight pounder, four kilogram, eight, nine pounds. Uh, and there is a big difference between weights. Keep going. 
So, you know, start with a weight that's comfortable for you. And when you're feeling ready, increase your weight. All right, here we go. So, we are going to do a hand switch with our other, uh, the other exercises involved in this flow. The first one is our archer or bow and arrow. So, let's go hand switch, Lens. There you go. And then, point that mace with straight arms. Our right elbow comes up nice and high. Our left hand is underhand grip right by that bell of the mace. Pull it back into the chest. Switch. And bow and arrow to your right. If you like to, you can turn your head. It's not the end of the world. Or you can look straight ahead. There's no right or wrong here. We're gonna do a couple more. As I said, this technically isn't in the original three-step flow and rest. But we add it because it's just a nice addition to it, okay? The other upper body movement is our hand switch with a cross body bottom. So we're gonna start with that mace to our right one more time. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna just allow the mace head, the glow of the mace to drop to our right. So this is cross body bottom position. Otherwise it looks like um, a seat belt, all right? You just buckled in, your seat belt's across your chest. We're gonna go into our hand switch from here and bring it down to the other side. So now you're on the left side of the car and switch. Right side of the car, seat belt on, left side. Back and forth, a little crush right there at the bottom. That's it, and switch. Remember, don't let go of your mace. Two more will do. Excellent. So bring it back, put your mace down, catch your breath for a second. Those are the three upper body movements, motions, exercises in this next flow. Uh, I'm quickly going to demonstrate the flow. I'm gonna go both sides, I'll just get Lindsay to get out of my way. And then she is gonna put the entire flow together for you and we're gonna go for one and a half minutes once more. So let's start with that mace right up here. I'm gonna kind of give you a, let me see, am I in the camera all right? Yeah, I am. All right, so we're gonna start with that forward lunge, left leg. Then we're gonna step out to the side with the side lunge and that cross body bottom. Excellent, crush right there. From here, we're gonna go into our dragon lunge and our bow and arrow. Excellent, stand back up, don't switch yet. Now, other leg, hand switch, forward lunge, good. Side lunge, cross body bottom, and finally dragon with that bow and arrow. Return to the chest, and then forward. Get on in here, Lindsay. Now that you guys got it at home, we're going for a minute and a half. Here we go. That's it. Nicely done. She switches legs forward, side, and dragon. Excellent form. She corrected herself perfectly. And that happens. In a class, usually there's multiple people and an instructor. If you get to a point where you forget for a second, just jump right back in, follow the instructor or one of the other students. It happens. In terms of the music, you can go at whatever pace you want for that song. You can do a slow tempo, a fast tempo. You can swing mace to any song. That's the beautiful part of steel mace flow. Whether you're doing complex flows that involve lots of movements, whether you're doing more fitness-based flows, slow, steady, 30 seconds left. You can switch up tempo. So I want Lindsay to pick it up for this last 30 seconds. Excellent, stand right back up, go to the next side. She's going a lot faster now, beautiful. Excellent form. You can see why I chose her, all my students to help me with this video and these future videos we will do. These are only two flows in the Steel Mace Flow. Masterclass, level one. And you can see, time. You can see how to sweat when you do them. And when you break them down, 
how much different exercises are involved and how many different muscles you are using. Right, Lens? Look, oh, yeah. that sweat right there. It's ripping. So even if you have done the Steel Mace Flow Level 1 certification and you know all the flows, try to slow it down. Try it with a heavier mace. Try to make it more about muscular endurance and health and fitness. That's not saying flows aren't about those as well. Flows are absolutely amazing. But you can train clients differently. And I have found that in the classes we do here, a little more simple flows like this, but done the way we just showed you, are very effective. And it turns people on to the Steel Mace Flow uh, community and world and, wants, and gets them wanting to do more and more and more. So, Lindsay, thank you. We'll be back with more of these. We'll break down the other six Steel Mace Flows uh, from the Level 1 certification and how you can turn them into fitness exercises for your fitness classes. Well done. Ah!